Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy with this angel card. What do we have please angels? Message for Gemini please for the week. Okay, one card has turned over. So we have meditation brings answers. This is, I mean, obviously, if you do meditate, there is illumination, clarity that you'll be getting from that this week. Can also be for me, it's very Virgo energy for me as a reader, finding answers from within, illumination from within, because you're being illuminated by source, angels, spirits, God, the divine. So very nice energy there, Gemini. Okay. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. It will be from the four, from the fourth to the tenth of January, twenty twenty one. So I'm going to pull four cards. Gemini. The first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Wow. That's a, a major first card to come out. We have the magician, which is your ruler, Mercury. The wheel of fortune is your challenge. I did mention the Hermit, didn't I? We have that here. Uh, the Hermit card, card of Virgo. That's definitely what I was getting with this energy as well. And your outcome, Gemini, we have the King of Wands. Okay. Let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message for Gemini, please. Fourth to the 10th of January, 2021, please. What do we have for our lovely Geminis? Thank you. Fourth to the 10th of January, 2021. Message for Gemini. Let's clarify these cards on the table for Gemini. Thank you. Two cards. So we have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune is clarified with the Two of Swords. King of Wands again with this Hermit. It feels this King of Wands is a person, male or female. And we have the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. Queen of Swords is generally Libra, but it can be your energy as well, Gemini. A lot of court cards in this reading. But this King of Wands definitely feels like it's a person. Let's clarify this Queen of... Thank you. Six of Swords. Oh, I love it. We have the star card of Aquarius, bottom of the deck. I'm going to put that down, Gemini, because I did look at it. Okay. So, Gemini, there is, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the King of Wands here. And the King of Wands is appearing twice. I mean, it's male and female energy for both of these, so they're interchangeable. It's a general reading. It feels like it's a relationship. Um, and it's a relationship that's based on passion, that's based on desire, that's based on something that really has grow like-minded souls, that kind of energy, because they're of the same suit. And the king and queens generally rep represent some kind of established relationship. But this ace of swords, it feels like there's been some division, di division breaking free, liberation, cutting cords. Because... The Ace of Swords gives you the opportunity to open a new door. 
So it definitely feels in this situation, this is some kind of relationship breakup, but there is such positivity in the sense that your ruler is appearing in your reading because your ruler is what do you want to manifest because now is the time to manifest now is the time to manifest the new path and the ace of swords is the card of victory the card of success um mental clarity as well maybe some decision choice clarity illumination and how you're going to move forward in a situation and again the magician is focused now with unwavering intent on what is it that you want to change in your life because now is the time to change it. And the magician says that you have everything that you need to change something that's negative to boss positive, base metal to gold, gold, an idea to reality. This can be a new path unfolding for you. Um, the magician is a great energy if you have all the resource, the power, if you take action to really bring positive change to your circumstances. So it feels in this situation I definitely get in this situation and that's what I'm seeing with this Queen, Queen of Swords. She holds this sword. So there's definitely an energy of I'm cutting the cords. I'm making the decision. And it comes when you don't know how to move forward. You know, the, the two of swords can be your challenge has been to actually make some kind of decision, to find clarity. You know, this is a card of weighing things up. How do I move forward? How do I take action? You know, how do I deal with the situation? And there's a feeling of being stuck here, even being a little resistant to change or Being, it is that kind of energy of just wondering what the future holds. It's that, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is an energy of things turning in your favour. It's good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. And that is available to you even in the challenge position. But it feels in this situation, the Two of Swords is, I'm weighing things up in terms of how I need to move forward. It's a transitional energy of closing one door and opening another. But there's a great energy of you are absolutely being guided by God, Spirit, the Divine. Things happen for a reason. There is an energy of, you know, uh, expansion, growth, um, gifts from the universe. It's that kind of energy. But it feels in this situation, some of you feel a little bit stuck. Um, it's interesting because there's this clarity here. Or there could have been some, or you're being told now is the time to get clarity, to cut cords in a situation and manifest a new path. But the, the challenge is that, again, the sword's energy is to do with your mind, your perspective, how you view something, your decisions, your choices, and how somebody is either weighing something up or not wanting to see the truth of a situation that, that it feels like there could be a little bit of resistance here, Gemini. Because it's change, it's transition. You know? Not being ready for change, it's, it's that kind of energy. But the magician is saying, you are ready. You are ready to manifest a new path. You are ready to bring change to your situation now. So it feels, between these two energies, there's... There's an opportunity to cut cords, but again, or truth, I mean, the three, Ace of Swords can be about truth. This can be about just not wanting to deal, deal with it, not wanting to deal with the situation, not wanting to make the decision or choice, because it's a difficult decision that will bring change. The message here with the King of Swords, which generally is Leo for me as a reader, but it can be fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, can also be Gemini. 
somebody who embodies the qualities of the King of Wands. Male or female energy again, but it is somebody who's a go-getter, who is ambitious, who is driven, who is very successful in business, who understands how to bring um, a vision to reality. You know, they go for what they want and they get it. They're a go-getting energy. They're very magnetic can be ego can be quite egotistical a little bit as well i mean there's an energy of ego here as well so it might well be for some of you that might have been a bit of an issue here too the hermit energy is is healing is introspection soul searching can also be having space and time out from this other person in your life it feels like it's been a relationship here and the Hermit card is about finding answers from within on how you overcome obstacles, how you make peace with situations, how you find clarity to act in your external environment. So this is about illumination from within. And again, I was feeling that here. The answers are definitely coming from within. This is definitely an energy of shining the light from within on how you need to take action in your external environment. And it feels to do with this King of Wands. And again, we've got the King of Wands here. Because for some of you, there could be a decision. The Queen of Swords can also be a communication decision. She's also, again, linking in with this Ace of Swords. It feels like cutting cords, leaving troubled waters behind you. But again, this Six of Swords is a card of healing. Um, it feels like you're making the choice in terms of which way you're going to go. You're getting the clarity. I feel that there has been some resistance or something feeling a little bit overwhelming that has been difficult to deal with way up. But there is the clarity of the illumination, the decision coming your way and how you need to take action now. And again, the Six of Swords, it feels like you're going, you're finally finding the right direction. Um, it feels very beautiful energy here. This is somebody who is leaving troubles behind them and moving towards calmer waters. So making the right choice for you and getting clarity of what you're moving towards. Now, the interesting thing here, Gemini, is there could be somebody else in the frame. Because this King of Pentacles is a card of Taurus. So... I mean, for me, the Taurus energy, I mean, Taurus, it can be Virgo, Capricorn as well, or somebody who embodies the energies of the King of Pentacles, male or female again. But it could well be in this situation, you're, you're deciding to leave a person that you've needed to heal from. And that could be, this healing could have gone on. Definitely in this situation, you know, um, days, weeks, months, you know, call it what you will. But this could be a new relationship. You could be leaving somebody for somebody else or you could be finally ready to move on from somebody, you know, in your mind, in your internal energy to move to somebody else. Because there's a feeling here, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But this is the clarity of getting, of moving towards something better. So this King of Pentacles could represent a person. If it's not a person, it can represent stability, security, safety. So the King of Pentacles understands how to bring security, safety, money career uh, in their home, their relationships, you know, all of this kind of energy. He is a great energy of stability, security, safety, success as well. So... It definitely feels in this energy, this is either a, a, it can be a third party situation, therefore you're weighing up between two people, because definitely this relationship with the King of Wands, I mean, there's healing here, light, introspection, and again, healing energy here. So it feels like the healing is, is, is going in the right direction, because there's definitely an energy, if this is a person, then this is someone who is helping you get stability and security back in your life. They don't play games. 
they're definitely not about ego. They're definitely somebody who is solid, stable, secure, down to earth, mean what they say, say what they do, they're reliable. It's that kind of energy. So for some of you, it's, it's either, it feels that there could be two people in this situation. You might be leaving somebody for somebody else or being finally ready to move on from somebody. That could have been days, weeks, months, years even, to somebody else. Because the, the star is, you're, got, you're on the right path. Who, what you're moving towards is the right path. Um, there's hope, have faith. And it feels like there's a newfound faith and it feels like in this person. I definitely feel this feels like a person to me. A newfound faith in somebody new. And there's, there's blessings, there's hope. You've made the right decision. This is it. You've made the right decision for you. And that's what you're being told by the universe. So you're being given blessings. Now is the time for you to receive blessings because it feels like you've been through a, a difficult time very much in this energy. And you're being told by source now, this is how you need to overcome. It's interesting. <laughs> I, I don't, sorry. I've got the card of Virgo here. You know, I don't normally um, say this, but it's interesting. I'm seeing that snake, you know. How do I deal with the snake? You know, it's definitely that kind of energy here. So it definitely feels for some of you something that has hurt you deeply because there's a lot of healing energy here, but there's a sense of renewal and new hope. And it feels with a new person. So don't let your mind, just be careful of your mind in this situation. Don't let your mind play tricks on you, keep you stuck. And I feel that's what this Ace of Swords is doing. Cut the cords, be in your power, manifest, for some, manifest something now, go for something now. Take action towards manifesting this new opportunity. And it feels like with a new person in your life, because they're reliable, you can trust them. It feels like there's trust issues because of what you've been through before. But they're really, you know, they're linked with this star. There's hope. Um, it's blessed. So lovely, lovely energy here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. King of Pentacles and the star again. You know, Gemini, that is a beautiful, beautiful energy. And that's a great sign. Um, it's a great sign that this person is the right one for you okay final message for gemini please thank you final message for gemini yeah we have tree wisdom this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. This again is finding answers from within. So again, there's a lot of answers, wisdom, guidance that you're being given this week. And it is now is the time to manifest. It feels like a new path and it's with somebody new. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I can't believe you got two King of Coins there. That's a really <laughs> ominous sign. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini, and I will see you next time. Thank you.